Hello friends, welcome to my channel Code Blocks. Earlier video I told you what is Tabular Assessment problem and the algorithms to solve this problem. Broad force, dynamic programming, and greedy approach. In this video, I told you how to solve uh, traveling salesman problem using greedy approach. Okay, so this is the adjacency matrix, and this is 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the city, and, uh, and the cost traveling cost here in the edges, it is written here. Okay, now you can see this code. This is the solution of greedy approach now i uh, explain you how to solve this so initially you can see this while loop okay you have to remember that that uh, this section except the while loop this section working for last row okay in the adjacent adjacency matrix and this while loop runs for all row except except last row that means while loop work for the uh, okay, while loop work for all the rows except the last row and the and uh, this section is work for last row in the adjacency matrix okay so initially i is sum is equal to zero okay i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 and counter i am writing writing here is c c is equal to 0 okay now <coughs> i am as the um, source source node or you can say the starting city is 0 that's why we can insert uh, we inserting the city into the list and one more thing i have to tell you that the counter here written as counter this counter always remind you are always checking that the last row is uh, coming or not when the last row comes it is exit from this while loop and this condition is the exit condition okay exit condition this if loop it is the exit condition when last row comes it breaks from the while loop okay and now now it uh, comes into the while loop first first j is equal to 0 i is equal to 0 and the and as both the same both uh, and value are same that's why first if loop does not work does not execute okay now in case j j is equal to 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 okay and now second j is double is equal to tsp of i dot length tsp of i that way, i is equal to 0 and tsp of 0 length is here 0 1 2 3 total length is 4 okay so j 1 is not is equal to 4 that's why second for uh, second if loop also does not execute okay now again here j is equal to 1 and i is equal to 0 and now first if loop okay j here j here um, j is not is equal to i it is true and list dot contains j j the j is equal to 1 and it does not contain j that means in the list we have added 0 only 0 1 does not in to include in the list that's why this condition true and we execute and we execute this if proof and inside this tcp of ij that means 0 of 1 that means this 10 0 of 1 is less than minimum obviously initially minimum is equal tends to infinity here integer dot max value so here minimum is equal to initially it's 10 and route of counter counter here is, is equal to 0 so route of 0 is equal to j that means 1 and here inside this array we have created one array here and this array uh, this list always check, uh, checking that the city is uh, consist uh, that means in visited or not visited or not this is always checking this list and inside this array 
we include our city one by one including city so now now first loop execute and now again increase the j value 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and now checking the second if loop okay this is first if loop this is second if loop okay second if loop and uh, 2 not is equal to 4 that's why it's not executing and now comes to c Here j is equal to 2 and i is equal to 0. So 2 does not contain into the list. It's checking first. 2 does not contain into the list and j not is equal to i. So execute the first loop. Here, but it execute the first loop. But in our in our outer loop, outer if loop. Okay. But in our if loop, it does not execute because TC of TCP of i j that means. 0 of 2 not less than minimum this is 15 15 does not 15 not less than 10 okay that's why it does not execute now increase the value now j value becomes 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and comes to the second it also does not execute because 3 not is equal to 4 and now d here j is equal to 3 and i is equal to 0 first 3 also not contains into the list and i not equal to j obviously so first loop executes this first loop execute here and uh, but the inner loop inner loop doesn't execute because tcp of ij that means 20 20 doesn't does not less than 10 obviously it is not less than 10 that's why it not executing and j values become in now increasing j plus plus that means j is value 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and now checking the second if loop okay for j is equal to value is 4 and tcp of i dot length it is also 4 so it execute now we are increasing sum before that sum is equal to sum plus 10 that means 0 plus 10 is equal to 10 and uh, minimum now again initialize minimum as tends to infinity okay and we include route list dot add route of counter route of counter means here i am writing route of counter that means one now again include into the list list dot add one so after after zero one is included and increase the counter and j is equal to zero i is equal to also one and counter is equal to now two So initially zero was included into the list. Now one included. So this is the minimum from here. And now we have to move i is equal to now become one. Okay. So now we move to this this row. This row. So till now I have um, found uh, for i is equal to 0 that means for this is j and this is i okay that means this is i and this is j for i is equal to 0 and j is equal to we have found from using this while loop I have found 10 is the minimum okay again using this while loop now i becomes one and we have to find the minimum one using this while loop i i can found 25 is the minimum okay and after that as j here j is equal to 3 that's why we have to move from this row to third row uh, sorry last row uh, fourth row okay now j uh, we have to from i is equal to 1 we found sum is equal to 10 okay for i is equal to 2 using this while loop we can found i is equal to 0 and here for i is equal to 1 we can we, we can found sum is equal to 10 plus 25 okay that means 35 
now as j is equal to here minimum is found in third j is equal to 3 so we have to move from here okay and here from here we have we can found the minimum is 30 because 0 is already visited 1 is already visited okay and third is already visited so we can found the minimum is 30 so for i is equal to 3 sum is equal to 35 plus 30 is equal to 65 now now counter checks here after this row the counter checks and now counter becomes 3 and now counter checks that's the remaining row is the last row here that means this is the remaining row for i is equal to 2 now it exit from this while loop is exit from this while loop and checking this okay and using this section of code we can found that 15 is the minimum okay as 0 1 2 3 already are visited that's why we exit uh, this exit condition exit in the com control to next section okay and from this we can found the sum is equal to now minimum is equal to 15 and total sum is equal to 65 plus 15 is equal to 80 okay and in the list from first in the list we have added 0 after that 1 after that 3 and after that 2 okay and in the array this is list in the list and in the array we store first 1 then 3 then 2 and then 0 when you execute this code you can check that uh, you can found that inside the array we store that 1 3 2 0 ok now using this section code it printing the output ok now to the, the that means the uh, sum is equal to 80 so this is the, the minimum cost and this cost will be printed this is the minimum cost to travel minimum cost to travel from the source city and again return to the destination city okay and the path is printed as zero initially starting from zero and then using this array we can found the path one after that three after that two and after that again comes to zero so this is the minimum path And the time complexity is equal to order of n square log n. Okay. That's all for this video. And the next video, I am discuss. Uh, I will discuss uh, um, traveling station problem using dynamic program. So I am copying uh, the code and paste here and so this while loop I am I told you before uh, this while loop run for all loops except the last one except the last row and the last row is means that uh, not this row okay the here the in our code the last row in our example the last row becomes this and this section this section is for the last row to find the minimum this section for last row to find the minimum to found minimum actually minimum cost and now we can execute this code okay one thing one okay
so minimum cost is 80 now check the output minimum cost is 80 and the path is 0 to 1 and then 1 to 3 then 3 to 2 and then 2 to 1 so this is the minim minimum path and this is the minimum cost to travel from source city and return again to the destination city after traveling all the cities